Hello. Today is February 29th. Leap day. One, once every four years. Um, so I thought I would t do a little... Come on briefly and, and do a little thing about leap year and leap day. Why do we need leap years? The short explanation for why we need leap years is that our calendar needs to stay aligned with the astronomical seasons. One orbit of Earth around the Sun takes approximately 365.25 days, a little more than our Georgian and and calendars or is nice round number of 365 days because the calendar does not account for the extra quarter of a day that the earth requires to complete its orbit around the sun it doesn't completely align with the solar year because of this as 0.25 difference our calendar gradually gets out of sync with the seasons, adding an extra day, aka leap day, a to the calendar every four years brings the calendar in line, and therefore realigns it with the season. Without the leap days, the calendar would be off by five hours, forty-eight minutes, and forty-five seconds, and and each year. After 100 years, the seasons would be off by 25 days. The months we call February and March would feel like summer in the Northern Hemisphere. A leap day is just, just, just that. It's an extra day in the leap year. A leaping, leapling is a person born on a leap day. A Leap day is the rarest birthday in the e Gregorian and calendar. Um, some facts and folklore. Ages ago, leap day was known as ladies' day or ladies' privilege as it, as it was the one day when women were free to propose to men. Today, Sadie Hawkins Day sometimes applies to February 29th, Leap Day, based on this older tradition. According to folklore, the weather always changes on Friday in a leap year. Leap year was never a good sheep year, according to an old proverb. Are leap years bad luck? Many feel that uh, to be born on leap day, thereby becoming a leapling, is a sign of good luck. In some cultures, getting married during leap year is considered bad luck. We don't know of any evidence supporting that marriage theory, but we do know that during leap years, Rome burned in 64, and the Titanic sank in 1912. So both those years were leap years. Also in leap years, the pilgrims landed at Plymouth, Massachusetts in 1620, and Benjamin Franklin proved that lighting, lightning is electricity in 1752, as well as gold was discovered in California in 1848. And speaking of of Leaplings, the city of Anthony, Texas, in El Paso County, is known as the Leap Year Capital of the World, an honor it shares with Anthony, New Mexico, same town, it straddles the bo border of the two states. In, in 1988, Mary Ann Brown, a Leap Year baby, born in 1932, formed the Worldwide Leap Year Birthday Club. 
and proposed to Anthony Ch the Anthony Chamber of Commerce that the town claim the moniker Leap Year Capital of the World. The Chamber agreed and sponsored a Leap Year Festival that year, which has been held every year, every fourth year since. This being 2024, this there is one this this weekend. And it kicks off tonight with with Leap Day Babies he's getting free meals at a barbecue joint there in Anthony. Um, according to Mary Ann Brown, she said uh, it would get the attention of those Leap Year people and besides that, bring in all of their families and friends and relatives. Brown told the El Paso Times in 1999. So we decided to put on the festival. Um, the, according to the Farmer's Almanac, there are, are a set of rules for determining whether a year is a leap year. And according to the farmers I'm like, those are a year must be a leap year, may be a leap year if it is evenly divisible by four. And two, years divisible by 100 century years such as 1900 and, or 2000 cannot be leap, leap years unless they are also divisible by 400. For this reason, the years 1700, 1800, and 1900 were not leap years, but the years 1600 and 2000 were. And let's see. The, let's pull out the Farmer's Almanac again. And... And Leap Day Babies, only one in every 1,461 births occurs on Leap Day. Peter Anthony Coe was born in Ireland on Leap Day 1940. His son Peter Eric entered the world on February 29, 1964 in the United Kingdom. And in 1996, Peter Eric's daughter, Bethany, became a Leap Day baby. This is the only documented case of three consecutive generations of one family being born on Leap Day. And it is in the Guinness Book of World Records. Karen Henriksen of Norway can lay claim to the title of the only mom on record to bear Three children on leap days. Heidi in 1960, Olaf in 1964, and Leif Martin in 1968. Folks born on leap days, as we already mentioned, are known as 29ers. Well, we mentioned that they're leaplings, but they're also known as 29ers, leapers, and leapsters. The Honor Society of, of Leap Year Day Babies connects leaplings around the world through social media and leap day events. During non-leap years, leap day birthdays are usually celebrated on February 28th or March 1st. And legally, when it's the, as far as driver's license and 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 being able to to drink legally, it it goes to it's March first. They don't give you that benefit of of that day before. It's 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 March first. So there you have it. There's some some interesting facts and things about out leap year and leap days. So anyway. Peace out. God bless you.